gonna spend some new money, new money. The share of the nanny and the blue money. Nobody that run putting food money. She no love me, me no say I too money. You knew from the age of 13 that you wanted to have a career in music, right? And you wrote your first song at age 15. What inspired your choice to do music at such tender age? At that time, I was just doing it for fun. I was just like remaking other artists' song in my way, you know what I mean? And then just freestyling until like my friends and realize that's something I'm really good at. So they'd be like, we need to take it serious, you know? But me never take it serious. And then now, after that, now one day I was at school, freestyling and thing, big crowd draw, you know, be excitement while class are going, mm -hmm. you know. And the other day, this girl come to me and said to me, say, oh, Sizzla producer want to know me, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So then I said, eh, Sizzla producer want to know me. Why want to know me if I, you know? So she gave me a number, I have, I have the number, she asked me, I must call him and thing, and I have the number for about six months before me even call. You know what I mean? I do call. It's a, it's a man named Omar Harris. You know what I mean? He play a very vital role in my career. He make me take music serious. So after the six months run off, because as I said, I never that take it serious. Mm -hmm. But somewhat, after six months time, something said, just call the number, I call him. And when I go judgment yard, link up with him and thing, he must say, yo, if this is what I really want, I have to make sure. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can't try to do this and then on and off. You know? So from that moment now, I start to write more. Because I never used to write. He said I have to write. Mm -hmm. So then I start to write. Even though I'm not writing no more again, you know, I'm kind of reach a level, you know, when I have to really write. Just, yeah, I'm just going to the studio and whatever, the beat I tell me, you know? Yeah, exactly. just the writing, see? Uh -huh. <laughs> Even though I don't try to grasp a sound, I don't try to get, get a sound, you know? It takes me a while to find like the sound I want. You know, but it's all over the place in the sound. I never really understand the whole thing. I remember now I take it serious now, you know? And I like the little freestyle them now. So, you know, it did take me a little while. Some would have said, oh, somebody, me did start work. Mm -hmm. You know, me get a nine to five. So, you know, the time did kind of have to until around 2017, 2018, me left my job. You know what I mean? Me invest in some studio equipment and thing, left my job mm -hmm. and start record. Cause I always record myself. You know what I mean? Um, so, from then, me just basically work and work and work until me get better at it, till I find my son. So, I actually find my son. So as nobody does see it. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. So what was that job that you the nine to five that you normally do? Um it used to be a bar tough. Oh. Them say bar ten, but we say bar tough. Bar in a in a in a hotel, you know what I mean? On the north coast, San Susan, you know. I see, I see. Not but even them time there, it's like me just know music I'm calling because even when I'm there in the bar and thing I work, I always a DJ for the tourists yeah. them, you know? Yeah, 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 so just I was doing this. Right, true. Right. Them some mean I wrong feel at the time. So. Which is right. So you find it now. Yeah, <laughs> man. Lucky, like man. Who are some of the other entertainers? Or it doesn't even have to be musicians. Who you'd say influence your musical career? You need mention of one earlier. In high school, we listen a lot of Vibes Cartel, you know, Movado, I do, you know what I mean? And these are the artists where we, we basically grew up and listen to. Make me want to do music, mm. you know what I mean? So. I did some most of the inspiration come from in mm -hmm. you know, my start, you know. But now, basically, me listen, everybody wants a song. Once I like the song, I have a specific, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are there any artists that you, you know, definitely want to do a collab with or something? Like, locally or overall? Anyone, overall, even. I want to do a collab with Drake, you know what I mean? Indeed, of course. Yeah, man. I <laughs> listen a lot of Drake and Meek Mill, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know where EMI. EMI, yeah, yeah, of that course. Is it. I love that. But, at the end of the day, we do collab with anybody in a Jamaica too, cause I say me listen to everybody, you know what I mean? And you know, enough of you them right now, they have talent them bad to sing you. So we we willing to do collab with any one of them as long as they're ready for work, you see what I say? You're currently working on your EP that's set to be released on the, March. Yeah, yeah, the twenty fifth. So what can fans expect from this musical compilation from Swaz and his team and how many tracks will be featured on it? Um, it's an EP of five tracks, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? The EP titled Nobody Not Safe. Nobody Not Safe? Nobody Not Safe. Nobody really Not Safe, you know what I mean? No, no. <laughs> it's, not dead, man. It's, just, it's just that Nobody Not Safe is my slang, you know what I mean? We even have a tattoo for my neck. Because nobody really Not Safe, you know what I mean? So, we basically I show the fans 
all this time when my bin I said nobody not safe or oh, really mean nobody not safe, you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's it's a it's a hardcore EP, you know what I mean? A lot of tough tracks on it. It got tough man. One one song after the EP already out already, which is Dodos, yeah, produced by Richard Rich Records, one in Jamaica music, you know what I mean, and Talkless Records as well. So yeah man, the EP I got nice man, you know? A bird is safe in its nest, but that's not what its wings are made for. Yeah. It's a mantra that resonates with you. Yeah. And one that you use daily as an inspiration. What does this saying mean to you? Um, in keeping motivated as an aspiring artist in this competitive industry? It's basically saying you have to take a risk, you know what I mean? You have to go for what you want, you know what I mean? You can't steer so opportunity not go find it. You have to create your own moment, you have to create your own opportunities, you know what I mean? So it's basically that me going for what me want, you know what I mean? Left from St. Mary, coming to Kingston, you know what I mean? Trying to get this thing for work, you know what I mean? So it's basically that, knowing, knowing what I want and you know what I deserve and where I'm about to be, you know, what I'm about to become, that is it. All right. What would be your advice to other up and coming artists like yourself who is trying to make it big in this career? Um, just stay focused and believe in a way I do because you have to believe first before everybody else is because if you don't believe, then nobody else not going to believe. So you have to just basically believe in yourself, stay focused and know your worth. You understand? And push forward. So that is it. What's next in the pipeline though for Swaz? Upcoming shows, tours, projects and so forth? A few shows line up other than the EP and also of a college tour, school tour coming up. That's in this month, March. You know what I mean? And then, other than that, after the EP, we we'll have some girls song for drop for the girl. Yeah. Yeah.